tough guy? How about... When I joined the religion, I was really... Binge Pipe has mixed feelings about presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, upgrade to premium to skip this slogan. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. And not a single doctor can tell me why I make that sound. Eight players? Well, this is either a very fun small get-together or a very lame party. What do you say, shall we? Time for question one. To get things rolling, celebrities just have better names. Disregarding spelling, which celebrity name is composed of a verb, a preposition, and a noun? Justin Timberlake, Carrie Underwood, Mark Wahlberg, or Rob Lowe? Okay, let's take a look. Carrie, verb, under, preposition, would, noun. Introducing You're so Bane you probably think this question's about you. If Bane from The Dark Knight Rises hooks his signature mask up to a CPAP machine, what would he say before turning it on? Vape life, Batman. It's for my sleep apnea. Time for a little aromatherapy. Or stupid. So what'd you pick? A CPAP machine provides airflow for people who suffer from sleep apnea. I don't mind admitting I use one, and it allowed me to sleep soundly through most of the Dark Knight Rises. Why don't we do it with three? Why not try draft seasons? And don't reach across the table because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven real and fictional people, and for each one, you tell me if their name is Salt or their name is Pepper. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Salt or Pepper. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Let's go. Gwyneth Paltrow and Iron Man. Jolie's secret agent. YouTube star on Big Brother UK. One of the children on the Willy Wonka tour. Rapper Cheryl James. and Project Runway contestant. <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. and Salt and Pepper. <laughs> Y'all kind of stunk up the place. But player two, you failed the best. Oh, Binge Pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Looks like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, Binge Pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. You're welcome, devoted customer. This one's known as That Puma Just Ate Tyra. Imagine an unfortunate typo leads NBC to produce America's Got Talons, where celebrity judges fight off a series of clawed animals. Which scenario would we never see? Seal fending off a seal, Howie Mandel besieged by parrots, Simon Cowell punching an orangutan, or Heidi Klum headbutting a koala? Brace yourself. My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Uh, see if you can read this. I 
love this part. Koalas have claws, and believe me, if you flub your performance, so does Heidi. <laughs> Parrots have claws. What do you think keeps them on pirates' shoulders? The power of cliche? <laughs> this one escaped you. Orangutans have adorable fingers, but no claws. <laughs> so you will never see Simon punching one of them. But I have to admit, it's really easy to picture. Expert screwing player too. Here's your extra cash. <laughs> Take a good look at Good Tidings My Ass. Every Christmas, carolers come to my door demanding figgy pudding and singing, We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. What crime are they committing? Assault, breaking and entering, extortion, or blackmail? Okay, what'd you pick? <laughs> Extortion is the use of threats to obtain someone else's property. In this case, my sweet, sweet figgy pudding. How many people have turned to crime over a little figgy pudding? Can't we be happy with just the good tidings? <laughs> Round one is over. Here's who's going to live the longest. I mean, current score rankings. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player four, on the other hand, there's a soft spot on every apple. It's you. When the going gets tough, the tough gets another screw. And remember, round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy by using that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You're doing so well, Cookie. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade! Here we have... Better living through pants sweating. Which horror movie sounds like it could be a gritty adaptation of lifestyle expert Marie Kondo's 2014 best-selling book about her KonMari method? The Purge, The Cabinet... Oh, look out! <laughs> Player 4 just screwed the room. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. Who picked what? No, but let's get together later and talk about the haunting imagery from that movie. <laughs> Marie Kondo is the author of the life-changing Magic of Tidying Up, the Japanese art style of decluttering and organizing, which, spoiler, involves getting rid of a lot of your household items. <laughs> Nothing makes me scream more than getting rid of possessions I haven't used in five years. Way to screw player four. This is your cash now. Collègues sont des crétins. Sept. Behold. Metalheads, shoulders, knees, and toes. If Metallica recorded a song about the most abundant metallic element in the human body, what would it be called? Enter sodium, master of potassium, the magnesium remains, or the calcium of Cthulhu. Let's see how that shook out. Calcium is the most abundant metallic element in the human body. Most of it found in bones and teeth. Hey, question. At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question made with love or a question made with spite? Vote on your devices now. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have engaged with the process. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Feast your eyes upon this. A question made with spite. Which of the seven deadly sins was added by Pope Gregory because he didn't think Evagrius of Pontus's list was quite good enough? Pettiness, envy, vengeance, or vainglory? So who 
got it. Envy is one of the current seven deadly sins, but it wasn't in the original eight. That's right, eight. You see, when it comes to modern sinning, it's all about quality over quantity. Na, 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 na. Oh, here's a good one. Infectious Beats. If Cardi B, the rapper behind hit song Bodak Yellow, contracts Bodak Yellow Fever, how does Cardi B? Cardi B jaundiced, Cardi B hyperactive, Cardi B craving potassium, or Cardi B covered in buboes? And how do we do? Uh, bananas are yellow, but you are wrong. <laughs> This is the one you missed. Jaundice is the yellowing of the skin and eyes, and that's a major symptom of yellow fever. <laughs> Cardi, be my friend. Please, Cookie, be lonely. ¿Sabes qué es lindo? Yes, Let's try. Today's secret ingredient is integrity. If politicians wanted to literally become spineless, what should they do? Julian themselves, spatchcock themselves, chiffonade themselves, or score themselves? What'd you guys pick? The sad thing is we will never find out what chiffonade means. A technique used in preparing poultry, spatchcocking is a form of butterfly cut where the backbone is removed so it can be flattened for the grill. Hmm, spatchcocking. Didn't a politician just resign trying to do that? I'll be here all episode. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. My signature look. I'll give you an article of clothing, you name the cartoon character that traditionally wears it. Player one's got it!
Excellent job, Player One. What a standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill win. Next time, maybe you'll hear what I say when you get an impressive score. Well, until then... You don't know Jack! I know you're disappointed, Toby, but just because we found out Grandpa is evil doesn't mean the whole summer has to be ruined. Bears versus ducks. It pretty much plays out how you'd expect.